Pine Clifford Private Hospital. Oh, is he a doctor? The smell always makes me nauseous. Yeah, I hate the hospital smells. If I, that's why I'm avoiding going there. Ever, I hate this. It just smells so kind of death in hospital. In my own opinion, it really does. Medications and death. Although this particular hospital is a place where I've learned I can win down. I have a feeling today's visit will be different though. I press myself and push open the door. I quietly step into the room. Sam? The regular peeping of a monitor next to the bed is so presently reassuring. I take a few steps towards the bed. Sam, are you awake? Oh, he's in a hospital? Wait, oh, how he's, is he taking the jobs for you? Ina, that you? He looks a little groggy, like he just woke up. Yeah, it's me, Sam. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, you know, the same, I guess. They put me full of these chemicals. Be damned if I could feel anything, even if something was wrong. Mm, you seem well. You keeping safe? Yeah. I talked to your doctor just now. And? They got anything? Don't really understand half the things they tell me. They are still trying. I glance around the small room, feeling a little frustrated. This is Sam's life now. Restricted to a bed and confined to the small room. Wait, what happened? They still need me here? Can I go home? No, it's not safe. You need to be in a controlled environment. Yeah? And what about money? Are you okay for money? No point in staying here if you ask me. It's no problem. I've been doing really well lately. This match is nothing. He threw his case to the ceiling and grumbled something under his breath. Crap. What? I sigh and look out the window. I don't know about why, but FPS, uh, FPS is dropping now and then, so sorry if this looks lucky. You should get out. Oh no, something bad is happening. Sam, no! Don't, don't kill him right now or I will kill you, game. I, I don't do well with feels like this. I just met him and it seems Ina really cares for him. I know. What? Oh, I thought something was in the window. You need to get out. Find another line of work. This is not good for you. This again. I was kind of expecting though. I thought she needs to get out like of the room and uh, someone was coming to kill him or something. I don't know. I take a deep breath. Look, I told you before, I'm not taking on that kind of work anymore. I'm selective about the ones I take. You have no idea. You just don't understand. Yeah, I'm on the Sam side. Be go go to some supermarket and sell things. You will not earn as much, but I'm sure there is a job that you can earn just enough for you. And, you know, everything will be fine. I've done so many... His voice cracks. I stand up, teeth clench, eyes on the door. I'm not a little girl anymore. I... Oh, amazing! Rishan! That's interesting. You're just a child. You don't understand anything. Just do as I tell you. Oh my god, I wonder if I can read the Russian version. I. Ti prosto. Rebenok. Bi. Nichego nie. Ro. Nimayet. Prosto. Telas. Kakia. Skashu. I think it wasn't the worst try. 
Yeah, I don't know how do you you say number so. so uh, oh, okay. B. I'm twenty two now. I go in on twenty three. You need to realize that already. I can make my own choices. B. Dolzni. Ponimayet. Sto. Isha. Ya mogu. Zdelać moj sobstvenje rešenija. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's fun though. Um, but yeah. There is no future in what you are doing, Ina. Tam niet budi żego w tom czto Ina. I opened my mouth to retort, but I held back my repulse at the last second. He's right. Okay, he tried to see a little bit. Let's chat, maybe. Maybe he's a little bit pushy. But he is right in a let's find a better job. I'm I'm for it. I am in for it. I exhale deeply. I'm not a child. I'm flying in a doctor from Switzerland. I'm told we can trust him. He's been doing research on stem cells and organ replacement. He's accurate to take on your case. He doesn't respond immediately. And then after a moment, I'm tired, Ina. I'm just sick and tired of all this. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Oh, no. Oh my god. Feels. I I told you came about the feels. You need to let me go. He says the last part with clarity, almost as if he had been rehearsing it. I should get going. Why? Why can't you just talk with him? I'm afraid that next time you come here, you might not be able to. I should get going now. You need rest, and I have some work to take care of. I'll come by tomorrow. I raised a glance at him, and sure enough, he's crying. I spin around, take long strides towards the door. Outside, I take a deep breath. I walk over the window and put my hand against the cool glass. Why is he acting so weak? Wasn't he the one who taught me to take pride in myself? To never show weakness? I remove my hand and hurry down the hallway. It suddenly became hard to swallow. Oh. Different attire. I got. I can't deal with feels. It hurts so much. Oh, much better. A shower at the end of the day always feels good, especially on days like today. I prepare some coffee and head for my spot at the table. Okay, so 11:30 p.m. I never realize how tired I actually am until I allow myself to relax completely. Right now it's an effort to even keep my eyes open. Hmm. I scroll through some random news articles, most of them about various celebrities and their latest antics. Oh, okay, it's got a new hairstyle now. Hmm. Never mind, let's go elsewhere. The next article spy is a research whole organ the cellular Decellularization. I wonder what exactly is, has happened to Sam. Okay, let's see now. And in your mail? The majority of the mail in my inkbox is from Mal, a business contact. He occasionally refers clients my way. I don't know much about him and I can say I trust him. I've only met him twice. He seems to have links to several corporations and businesses. The contents of his mails are usually kept very second, just detailing the basic requirements and they expect a pay. Obviously, he said he doesn't do this for free. 
He keeps the whole 20% of the total for himself. Opening my mail client, I discover I have five new messages. The first is monogram about the status of a current job. Much as I dislike him, he's the reason I'm doing so well as of late. The work opportunities he provides me always pay off, and quite well at that. We communicate primarily through email. This is, this is his preferred method of conduct, but I can't say I'm opposed to the idea either. Mail is a lot simpler. The second of our message are website feeds, I delay them. The third one is a roughly from the Switzerland talk to my last mail to him. I quickly type up a confirmation roughly and send it. The last is from Mel again? I open it. Hmm. I'm supposed to serve as a lookout for a teenage girl while she is in college. Wait. Mel sent me this? A bodyguard job? I go over a message again. I can't tell much from the ammo information given here, but hmm. Am I seriously cons- It's better than killing women! It would make Sam happy. She would just come and be like, look, look, Sam, I am now being a bodyguard for this girl, and he would be wondrous, Ina. You're not killing people. Wouldn't that be better? Oh my god. I'm so rage because I'm so, so into this now. And I'm so sorry for Sam. And I hope he, he will keep strong. <sighs> well, this certainly would be a first for me. All my jobs so far require me to be on this dispatching game of damage and violence. It might be interesting though, it sounds comparatively easy at the very least, and the pace surprisingly good. Sam. Okay, I'll give Mal a call and ask him about it. It could even be just a mix up on his part. I don't use my phone very often, it's just something of a mystery to me. They didn't have any of the normal kinds, so I ended up picking up something at random. Okay. There we go. He normally I answer his phone instantly. I suddenly tell him about the... Uh, he's picked up by isn't saying anything. Mel, it's me, Ina. Ina. Okay, what is it? The job. Is it done? It's sort of an unsay rule between us that we would only use phone calls for important matters. Yes, it's done. It was uneventful. Okay, good. You will receive the reminder of your payment tomorrow. Alright, but I didn't call for that. It's about that surveillance contract. Yes, you want to take it? So it wasn't a mix-up. Ah, no, I want some more details on that first. Yeah, you know it doesn't work that way. Meet the clean yourself and then decide if you want the job or not. Oh, he's a... he's an ass. And that's how I prefer it. Alright, where can I meet him or her? I'll set up a meeting for the two of you. You'll be in front of the time and location where you can meet him in a few minutes. Through mail. I still have some doubts about the whole deal, but maybe this kind of change of pace I need. I've been back to my last assignment. That anger and fear and blood. That look on Sam's face. Hmm. I think I would welcome a slow job right now. Yes, we're going towards the right direction, Ina. This could be a start. <laughs>